Hey guys, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to format internal or external hard drives and thumb drives in Mac OS X version 10.11, aka El Capitan. This tutorial will show you how to erase and rename any internal or external hard drive or solid state drive, but this also works for thumb drives and SD cards. I'll also explain all of the formatting options, as well as the differences between all of the partition maps or schemes that you can choose from, so that you'll know which format and scheme you should choose for your specific purpose. One thing to watch out for is to not accidentally format the wrong drive. In my computer right now, I have my main Macintosh hard drive, which holds my operating system a three terabyte internal media drive that I use to hold projects and files. The no name drive is my SanDisk Cruiser thumb drive that we're gonna be formatting. And last is my Waves license uh, USB drive that contains a bunch of software licenses externally. If you don't see your connected internal or external drives on your desktop like I do, you can go to Finder, Preferences, and hide or show your internal or external hard drives. In El Capitan, these options are not checked by default, so I always like to make sure to show these so I can see all of my connected drives. So next, we're gonna go to Spotlight, the magnifying glass in the upper right corner, and search for Disk Utility. This is the utility that we'll use to format our thumb drive. If you're already familiar with Macs, you'll see that the look of Disk Utility has changed quite a bit from previous versions of OS X. So like I said earlier, make sure that you don't accidentally format the wrong drive. For me, I'm going to format the SanDisk Cruiser thumb drive. The top icon represents the drive itself, and the bottom icon represents the individual partition of the drive. You can actually set up a drive with two or more partitions, but in this video, we're just gonna format this drive with one partition. Next, we're going to click on Erase, and then we can name the drive to whatever we want. I'll call this drive Carney USB. Next, we need to select a format. The Mac OS Extended Format only works for Macintosh computers. More specifically, Windows computers can only read files from this format but not write them. So if you want this drive to be completely intercompatible with Windows and Mac, you want to select one of the other formats. However, if this drive is being used exclusively as an internal drive in your Mac or is going to house a Mac operating system, you'll want to make sure you choose the Mac OS Extended option. Depending on how your drive was previously formatted, you may see up to four OS X extended options here. When formatting drives just for Mac, I typically just go with the journaled option at the top. MS-DOS FAT, also known as FAT32, is for Windows disks that are 32 gigabytes or less. However, this format will work with both Macs and PCs. XFAT is for Windows disks that are over 32 gigabytes. Like with MS-DOS though, this format will work with both Macs and PCs. The difference between MS-DOS and XFAT is that MS-DOS doesn't support individual files that are larger than 4 gigabytes, whereas XFAT does support individual files that are larger than 4 gigabytes. There are three partition maps or schemes that you can choose for your drive. Use the GUID partition table if you're going to be using your internal or external drive exclusively on a Mac. Choose the master boot record option if you want your drive to be recognized on both Macs and PCs. This option is also used if you are using the disk as a secondary disk for a Windows operating system that you installed using the Bootcamp application. And lastly, you can use the Apple partition map if you're going to be using the drive on Mac computers with OS X version 10.4 or earlier, so only old Macs. In my case, I want to use my thumb drive on both Macs and PCs, so I'm going to go with MS-DOS and Master Boot Record. But if you're only going to use your drive on Macs, go with the Mac OS Extended and GUID partition map. So lastly, we just need to click erase and wait for the drive to be unmounted and formatted. This may take a few minutes depending on how big the drive is and how much data has already been used on the drive. Also, I have my thumb drive plugged into a USB 2.0 hub, so it's probably gonna go a little bit slower than plugging the drive directly into my computer. All right, so it's all done formatting. We can just click done, and then you'll see that our newly formatted and renamed thumb drive shows up on the desktop. We can double click on it to open it up just like a folder. And just one last thing, remember when you eject your drives, make sure to right click and choose eject. Don't just pull it out. Um, you can also drag the drive down to the trash and the trash icon turns into an eject function. All right, so I hope you guys found this disk utility tutorial for El Capitan helpful. And as always, thank you for your support and thanks for watching.